Hello and welcome to my mobile workshop. I'm going to be making a quick little video of everything that I've packed in here. Unfortunately, I'm having to sell this trailer because the new place I'm moving to, uh, there's no place to park it. Um, quick shout out to Ron Polk. He's sort of the inspiration to this trailer. If you watch some of his videos, and I'll, I'll link them in the description, you'll see a lot of similar uh, ideas were, were taken from his trailers. I think he's built over eight of them last time I watched his videos. Um, but anyways, I'm just going to do a s sort of video of everything that's in here and you can get an idea of what you can put in here. So this is the trailer from the outside. It's a 7 by 14 foot cargo trailer. It's the Victory Series. And it's got the double doors open to the side. Ron Polk likes the ramp, but I found that uh, I like to be able to tuck the doors out of the way so I could back the trail up real close to something if I needed to, but that's just a personal preference. Uh, anyways, coming into the trailer, you'll see a table saw here, some storage underneath it, mostly just to hide things. Uh, I got all these drawers here. I left a couple of them sort of unfinished because I wasn't sure what type of drawer I wanted to put there, you know, double or single. They're very modular, so you can sort of move stuff around or add and build things as you want. I'm um, just shelving here. Again, you could probably add drawers there if you really wanted to, or add more shelves or just a lip so stuff doesn't fall off during travel. Um, sort of hidden behind here, this magnet bar, is the uh, security system. So you can't really access it easily without taking a couple screws out. But basically, uh, there's a solar panel on the roof, so it keeps the whole thing charged and keeps all the sirens and lights working. Um, more storage up top. Got the miter saw down here. I built this in such a way that you could raise and lower the platform that it's on in case you want a different type of saw. Um, but right now it's pretty much set up for this Bosch. Um, Bosch is, this Bosch is nice because collapses down pretty easily and you can spin it out of the way so when you're not using it it's not really sticking out um, up here is just more shelving this last area another idea stolen from Ron just some storage for stuff sandpaper and some nailers uh, so not very modular now that it's all nailed together but when I was putting it together it was so this back wall pretty much is the home of the sawhorses, the air hose and power cord. Um, in this corner back here, got some space for shovels and post hole digger and other handled tools. I usually have some pieces of rebar stuck in there. They have been all used up right now. It's a little empty. Um, the power cord right now is actually plugged in, but you'll see it goes down through the ground in a, one of those electrical easy pullers. I just mounted it to the floor. It makes it real nice on your cords when you're yanking them through there so they don't get damaged. And also makes them just roll smoother. Um, but they're real easy to use. And the nice thing about these hose reels is when you're done using it, you just unplug it and you can pretty much just crank this thing and get it back in there in 30 seconds uh, rather than taking forever because it's a pretty long extension cord on there. I uh, have some storage for some levels. drywall tee, flashlight close by. I usually come in through this smaller door if I'm just grabbing tools, so it's nice to have the flashlight right there. There's also a battery puck light here, and there's a couple other. One down at the end right there, and then another one on the ceiling just for when I'm not plugged into power. At least I have some light. I can see what I'm doing. Coming around to this side, we got the compressor under here. And then right above that is this Jessam router lift. Uh, it's an older one. It could probably use a new belt or something, but it still works pretty nice for working on a router surface to be able to adjust it up and down like that. Above that, I have a bunch of tubing, just random pieces from projects. They tuck up there nicely. I can keep them at hand for when I need them. And more storage above there. I have a, a long 
skill saw sled up top. That's why that clamp's there to hold it in place. You could put whatever else you wanted up there. Both sides you could add a lot more storage. I just, so, so these sort of things are always a, a work in progress, at least for me. And then more drawers, storage underneath. Lots of storage in all the drawers. If you haven't seen these things, these are awesome. Uh, another Ron Polk idea. All of the drawers are uh, just wood on wood. I was going to put some wax on them to make them slide a little bit smoother, but they seem to do fine just as is, and I figure if I put wax on them, they might jiggle out while I'm driving, whereas right now, you know, maybe if I drive for four hours, one of them might slide out maybe an inch or so, but otherwise they stay put. Uh, that's pretty much the trailer. I might add more information if I think of it, or if you guys have questions, let me know.